Hey guys, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you some very cringy, embarrassing middle school pictures of me. And yes, it's middle school, so they're gonna be very awkward. I'm sure all of you that are probably watching, you probably went through an awkward stage, and if you didn't, then you're damn lucky. went through a very awkward stage and I definitely didn't have a lot of confidence growing up. I felt like I was the ugly duckling and I just accepted the fact that I was the funny friend. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine and you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Today we are all glowed up. I mean, I definitely look a lot better than I used to. Grew into my face and my nose especially. So I just thought it would be fun to share these cringy pictures with you guys. And I do want to let you know, I was a very strange, weird child growing up. And clearly these pictures, you will see that. So I went through a bunch of different phases throughout like each grade. So sixth grade, I was ghetto. And then seventh grade, I jumped to being preppy. I know that's a huge, big difference. And then like towards the end of seventh grade, I started getting to, into like my skater rebellious phase and then eighth grade I was like full-on scene you know we used to go to sawgrass for those of you that don't live in Florida or South Florida for that matter sawgrass is a huge shopping mall and we used to call it scene grass because all of the scene people used to hang out at sawgrass so we would call it scene grass but yeah so you're gonna see all of these phases so I guess let's start off with sixth grade yeah, this was me, sixth grade, so what, I was like 11, 11 years old, and I had these very uh, ghetto nails. Yeah, that was my first time getting like acrylic nails that long, and it was um, pretty terrible. Okay, so here we are again with the nails, except I have a band-aid on my index finger, and funny story for that, I was messing around with this kid and I punched him and back then I didn't know how to punch so I was punching like this like I had my fist closed and obviously when your hand is like this your nails are like you know in there I guess and I punched this kid right with these ghetto acrylic nails that I had and I literally broke my nail from like here <laughs> So I probably shouldn't have punched that kid, uh, especially because I had these like ridiculous nails. But yeah, I remember it being so painful. I had to ask my PE teacher for some band-aids because I broke my nails trying to punch a kid. Yeah. Ooh, this one. Okay, back with the nails. Um, except here I am with my hair down with my highlights. And this is my first time ever dyeing my hair. And yeah, I'm just so cute. The earrings though. We're gonna go into like the preppy stage, I guess. Um, I don't really have that many pictures, but we'll see. Okay, so this first one, look at how dirty the mirror is. Um, what? This is in my room. Loving the Fall Out Boy poster uh, back there. Looking a little less ghetto, looking more preppy. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm wearing Abercrombie like an Abercrombie top and some Abercrombie shorts from the kids Abercrombie because I couldn't fit into like, you know, women clothes because I was a little string bean. But this is very questionable. Like why did we put a bunch of nail polish all over our legs? Okay, so this is like the preppy except kind of like rebellious. So clearly I am being a rebel with this hose. I don't even know, like, what am I doing? Okay, so the preppy stage was whatever. Now we're in the skater rebellious stage and this, this is good. Okay, here we are with a clandestine, um, clandestine hoodie. Uh, that was actually Pete Wentz's clothing line and me and my friend, we were obsessed with Pete Wentz so when we went to the Fall Out Boy concert we actually bought like a ton of merch and we got this jacket. I still have this jacket. It's definitely one of my favorite jackets. It's super comfy and soft but yeah. Ooh yes so cute. Look at that Hollister shirt. That was actually my favorite Hollister shirt because in middle school we had to wear like collared shirts and like uniform so that color was my favorite. 
and here I am standing on my mystery skateboard looking all cool like such a cool skater chick here we are again yes uh, rock and roll skateboarder hardcore skater chick and the rebellious skater in me uh, pretending let's just um, let's just move on from that okay so here is the scene phase. Um, I definitely thought that I was in a gang because I would always throw up the blood sign for some reason. Yeah, um, okay. I don't, I don't even get this, really. What, why? <laughs> oh, this is when I got my like scene haircut. I got it like super short and like choppy and my brothers when I came home, they greeted me saying, hey, mullet head, when I walked into the door. So they used to call me mullet head. Ooh, something very artsy, just in my bedroom, reaching for a candle, it seems. I don't know. These were like all pictures that I would post on MySpace because back then MySpace was, you know, the ish. Like everybody had MySpace and I'm pretty sure I put this like in my about me section. Um, ooh, look at the jelly bracelets. Yep, definitely wore that. Um, for those of you that don't know what those jelly bracelets are, they're pretty inappropriate, but no one ever broke my bracelets, just to let you know. Yeah, it was just a cool thing to wear these bracelets because everyone wore them, especially the scene people. Ooh, another artsy one. Here I am looking at the camera very seductively with my crayons. Back then it was cool to take selfies like on self timer and like try to make cool pictures. So I guess like today with Instagram, you know, having a great feed is like what's in. Back then it was like very, I don't know. I don't even know what to describe this style. I don't even know. Like I have no clue. <laughs> so this is freshman year and um, remember like this was the pose like this. This like weird like hand stuff were like the scene poses, right? This is like my second time ever dyeing my hair and so I got one of those like raccoon stri uh, strips. So I had this like bleach blonde, like one strip in my hair and I legit looked like a skunk. Like I don't even know what the hell, like why, but this was my rebellious teenage time and I just wanted to be seen. Ooh, this one. <laughs> So I think this was eighth grade. Yeah, this one was in eighth grade. Uh, me in my mom's shower, loving the mullet. Uh, but the studded belt, this one was my favorite belt. I would wear this every single day to school and you wouldn't like put it through like the belt buckle loops, you know? You put it on the outside and you just wear it like that. Like it was just like an accessory that you, you were seen if you had one of these belts. Definitely very, very seen picture. Um, loving the huge crown pendant that's on my necklace. If this isn't seen, then I don't know what is. So that was me, little Sonya Blade, growing up. Um, very, very awkward, as you can see. If you guys liked this video, then give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a part two to this series, but next time I would add videos in it. And just to warn you, I was a little high-pitched chipmunk. Yeah, I was very, very annoying growing up. Like, how did I have friends? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I definitely shared some pretty embarrassing moments with you guys. So it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I would love you forever. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at SoniaXBlade. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.